Hey everyone, this is Mark Phillip of Studica, and what I have here is the MyStem project board, which we sell on our website. Uh, this piece basically connects to the National Instruments MyDAC data acquisition device, and it allows you to send inputs through the MyDAC onto the board to supply uh, voltages to different circuits or different uh, motors and things like that. I'm not going to go into the technical specifications of this because that's listed on our website and I'll provide a link to the project page on this YouTube video so you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, all I'm going to do in this video is a very simple circuit using an LED light that's going to connect onto this board and be turned on and off using my computer uh, through the MyDAC device. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. The first thing I'm going to do is take uh, my NI MyDAC, which I have here. We also sell these on our website. And there's this, uh, I believe it's 24 pin connector on the side. And that's where these are going to connect into. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that in. Okay, so now that my uh, MyDAC is connected, it has a USB connection running to my computer. So I'll actually be able to use this to send power to uh, essentially the breadboard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug in some cabling. Uh, so that I can send power to my breadboard and pop my LED light on there. All right, so the first thing I need to do is basically get a ground flowing to the circuit, uh, to the breadboard here. So I'm gonna take this uh, black cable here and plug it into the ground pin here. And then this is going to plug into the uh, ground uh, circuit, if you will, on the breadboard. And then the next thing I wanna do is take uh, my red cable here I'm going to plug this into the DIO uh, zero socket on this block here. And then I'm just going to plug that into any one of these spots on my breadboard. So I'm going to take a 220 ohm resistor right here. And I'm going to plug that in because uh, my LED could potentially blow out uh, since this board's running potentially more than 5 volts. Uh, so I need to provide a resistor here so that the current gets cut a little bit. I'm going to plug one side of that into the positive spot, or sorry, into where my red cable is because that's supplying current. Then I'm going to plug my other side of the resistor into just an empty spot. So now I'm going to take my green LED, which looks like this. I'm going to plug the longer leg into the other end of the resistor so that it supplies positive voltage there. And then I'm gonna plug the short leg into the ground over here where I, uh, where I plugged in the black cable. So now my circuit's complete and I should be able to supply power to this. So let's take a look at my computer. So on my computer, uh, I'm going to open up uh, the Elvis MX launcher. So Elvis MX is, well, it comes with LabVIEW, and so I've already installed all this stuff. Uh, and now I'm going to open up the Digital Writer. And what the Digital Writer is, uh, is it basically allows me access to basically some output ports from the MyDAC. And so each of these uh, knobs here corresponds to one of those DIO ports that I have on the MyStem board. So now if I hit run on this and I press this circuit to high, it's gonna turn on my LED light, as you can see. And I'm gonna click this off to low and it turns off. So now I can basically control this LED light using uh, the MyDAC and if I wanted to get fancier with this, I could open up LabVIEW itself and basically create a whole program that would allow me to utilize some sort of input to turn this on and off. Uh, 